，你用靚女嚟到賣廣告係好定唔好咧？咁樣、嗯、我唔知啊。咁啊，作為男人睇下靚女係冇乜所謂，但係咧對你、呃、女仔個女人個形象啦，可能係啲破壞。咁啊，我就覺得咧，就係喺一個、啊、平等嘅社會入面啦、嗯。你中意睇靚女咪睇啦，你唔中意就可以唔中意。咁啊，亦都唔應該咧將一啲人嘅。啊！道德水平嘅階梯喺其他人嘅道德水平身上，咁所以咧就呢度有啲啊靚女片俾大家睇下啦，咁啊你睇下你中唔中意啦，咁啊講下冇傾下偈嘅啫。I love going all natural. It's not clear until 28 seconds into this 42-second commercial that it's actually an ad for Carl's Jr.'s new all-natural burger, grass-fed beef. Carl's Jr. releasing the Super Bowl ad Wednesday on Twitter, and already people are talking, but not so much about the all-beef patties. One person tweeted, "Setting feminism back four decades." The more controversy, the better. I don't think they really care one way or another what women think about these ads. No added hormones. And Carl's Jr.'s edgy, multi-million-dollar Super Bowl campaigns regularly bank on the sex sells philosophy. Previous commercials featuring Kate Upton, Paris Hilton, and Heidi Klum so racy they prompted critics to create the hashtag "Women Are More Than Meat." While many have called foul on other Super Bowl ads for being too sexy, like this 2013 Calvin Klein ad or this Mercedes-Benz ad, also from the same year. Last year, the trend seemed to be turning more toward the cute or clever. What's LTE? Is it contagious? A lot of advertisers have backed away from the sexy, raunchy advertising. This year's early roster shows some companies may be toning down the shock value. The new commercial for GoDaddy, which displayed a new Danica Patrick in 2011, is expected to show a tamer and fully clothed scene. Complete with this adorable puppy. The first ever in fast food. As for Carl's Jr., well, it seems they're sticking to the original recipe of more buns than burger. Nothing.